Good morning to you. Say good morning good from down morning. here. Good morning. It's our first full day in Disneyland Paris today. We've woken up nice and early. I say woken up like we just naturally woke up. We set our alarms because we want to make the most of extra magic hours. If you stay in a Disney hotel, then you can get access to the park an hour earlier than the rest of the people that aren't staying in a Disney hotel. Boy. Pearl, as you can see, hello. hello, has French pads. But what we're gonna do is they've gone really fluffy, but you don't wanna take them out yet, do you? Do. So, you can just take the bottom half out and you can have like curly ponytails and then we'll just spray the rest. We're gonna go for breakfast. Um, which I'll take you with us to because we are staying in a golden forest level room. I kind of upgraded us or like booked that package um, and it's a private breakfast dining room. So we'll go and see what that's all about. And then we're gonna walk over to Disney Park. As you know, I like to keep things super positive on the vlogs um, and I'm a massive Disney fan. So after breakfast on the walk to the Parks. I'm going to talk to you about something that hasn't been super positive and it pains me, but I feel like I should say something to you. So, look at this! Look at this curly ponytail! Look at that! <laughs> um, right, I'll get cracking with this and let's go for breakfast. So this is the Golden Forest Lounge through here. Well, this all looks lovely. Look at that honey! We've got Nutella girls. Good prep. <gasps> Fresh melons. And oh, look! <laughs> Mickey cake. What are your thoughts on this Golden Forest situation? It's <laughs> so nice. Isn't... Chefs are, to like... are they chef's quiz? Chef's quiz or chef's kiss? Croissants. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts, Gorge? This is so lovely. It is so nice. Look at these. I'm going to try the. Oh, are we doing like a YouTube taste test? I've gone for my usual breakfast. Beige. I really, really love the like communal areas in the lobby of this hotel. Going to have a good look in that shop later. I really, really enjoy all the displays they put up. That's really nice. I love the like wilderness cozy theming. I will say though that last night we had a few problems in the room. The Wi-Fi um, we had a lot of trouble with. There's also not a lot of plug sockets. We could find two and to get those we had to pull out the lamp and also pull out the coffee machine. I think they're quite dated. They must have like when they designed this room just not had a lot of people with gadgets and gizmos. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of plug sockets. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, and the other thing is the beds. I don't know if maybe we've just got a room that needs a bit of updating. The sheets were very clean, uh, but the bed, I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it was not, not like a great night's sleep. Um, so yeah, and it's the room's a bit dated. There's some grubby marks, like there's lots of chips and things like that. I'm telling you all this not to have a moan because I'm happy with both books. I chose the book here. It's a very convenient location, but because I know the power of the internet, basically. Um, I know from those cruise vlogs how many people have booked cruises based on those videos. So I just wanted to give you like the whole picture so that you can make a more, like if you're thinking of coming here, so you can make a more balanced choice. Um, right, I don't like to be negative in the vlogs, but th those are my negative points. Um, so now we're gonna head off to Disney Parks and hopefully have a very positive day. That breakfast was so delicious. They were like, so, what did you say about the eggs? Uh, the, so my auntie Rose, she cooks the best scrambled eggs like, ever. And they were like the same and I was like, oh yeah, you guys The older women of my family, like Judith and Rose, are amazing cooks. They're my mum's sisters. Judith makes craps. Crepes, like crepes, eggs. not craps, crepes. Crepes? Crepes. <laughs> crepes. <laughs> you said crepes. Crepes, how do you say them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Rose makes scrambled eggs. Yes, sadly I did not get the good cook gene that got passed down because my granny, my mum's mum, was an amazing cook as well. Um, but sadly it didn't quite pass down to me so you have to go to Auntie Rose and Judith for the good food, don't you? <laughs> Just a moment of appreciation for this entrance. I've never noticed that statue there with the wand with the star at the top. Oh, so beautiful. I think the entrance is just so, so pretty. Oh, 
so kidding. Mickey's out greeting the crowds this morning. How fun are these like spinning statues of the characters? They're really nice. And there's our first shot of the castle this morning. She's a beauty. There we go. Obligatory castle shot. Just wanted to take a moment to show you the detail because the details in this park are just so, so beautiful. Oh, so we're inside um, Aurora's castle. We'll come and explore this a bit more later on because I think there's a beautiful shop and you can go upstairs. Um, but for now, we're going to head and do some rides. Here we go. such a nice way to start the day like a good gentle ride but not too slow look at this fabulous theming I absolutely love it I've got a fun fact yeah that yeah okay come over here then so we get good sound on the front of the ship yeah Ariel's pub. well that is a fun fact did you see that on YouTube can you guess from the theming what ride we're about to go on next we'll give you a clue it's the wildest, wildest ride in the wilderness <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that we came. <laughs> you tripped. I got the I got the ick for myself. <laughs> Gave myself the ick. <laughs> what did you think of that, girlies? That was good. That was. Weren't you scared? Yeah, I wasn't. You're such a thrill seeker, aren't you? You love a fast ride, don't you? <laughs> Only a five minute wait for Pirates of the Caribbean. This extra magic hour is so good. We've got on Peter Pan in about 10 minutes, Thunder Mountain in five minutes, and this is five minutes as well. So if you're staying at a Disney hotel, it's well worth getting up early and making the most of this hour. I don't know how busy it's gonna get later, but this is brilliant. We don't need to worry about it being a bit dark. Just follow Pearl's flashing shoes. Well, this starts off very nice. Welcome to the Caribbean. Oh, it's a cafe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a restaurant. Oh. First one to see a pirate is the winner. <laughs> Disneyland Paris is amazing. We've got the real life Donald and Daisy right here. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, so close. Hello. It's a classic, it's Dumbo. And we are off. Whoa, there's Darcy and Liam. Wow, Pearl, they keep going up. Up's good. Hello. We're on Dumbo, you want to go down, okay. There's Daddy and Darcy. What a view of the castle and fantasy land. Woohoo! There are so many ducks in this park. They're all so tame. We're going to go on the teacups, but in the ride area, they have kind of stuff to play with. Look at these biscuits. This is what I mean about like the detail of this park. It's so nice. <laughs> We got a good spin going. Does it need to go the other way? Or is this the right way for it to go? There we go. We're gonna go on these storybook boats now. I absolutely love these so much. Look. I love this ride. I love that it's really unique. They don't have anything like it in America. It's very gentle, which I appreciate. There's lots of pretty things to look at. It's lovely. I'm conscious, by the way, that I've only bought one vlog battery, so I couldn't find any of my other batteries. So, I'm gonna film this. I'm gonna film a bit of the parade, and then see how we go for the rest of the day. I have to be a bit more conservative with the old battery. The boats all have different names. Like, this one has Mary Poppins. That one has Jasmine. Oh. That one has I wonder what we'll get. We'll probably get that one. Ours is called Floor. Go, go, Darcy. That's it. <laughs> you all settled? Yeah. 
Here we go. This is my sort of pace for a ride. You want me to read it? Okay, so it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So this is Snow White's home. <laughs> it says Hansel and Gretel. What film? Not Elsa. It does look a bit like Elsa's, doesn't it? Who do you think it is? Mermaid. Yeah, Little Mermaid. This is such a delightful, gentle ride. I love it. So this over here is the Wizard of Oz um, display and it's the music from the electronic parade that they used to have in America. Just a little bit of Disney trivia for you there. Wizard of Oz. Oh, that's cool. Woohoo! The children wanted to sit together. I mean, it's a snug fit for mum and dad in the bag. Woo! There go my ears. Woo! on the balcony of the castle looking down on Fantasyland. We're gonna go in and I'll show you how beautiful it is. It's the details of this Disney that I love so much. Wow, is that cross stitch? It's like a tapestry. That is lovely with Aurora's fairies, the fairy godmothers. <laughs> Cheeky lady. Look, it's her spinning wheel. That is so nice. Oh, it's lit up. I would have that in my house. <laughs> I really like that so much. Look, it lights up, girlies. So it's telling the story, basically, in all these tapestries. What are their names? If, comment below if you know their names. I feel like maybe it's one of them called Martha? I don't know. Yeah, someone will know. Do you know what they're called? Merryweather. Yeah, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather. Yeah, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather. Ah. Those little creatures used to scare me so much when I was little. Like, honestly, they'd give me nightmares, those little guys. Freaky little goblins, yeah. Look at these stained glass windows. Beautiful. We loved the parade so much the first time that Liam's gone on Space Mountain and I'm here with the girls and we're going to watch it again. Um, we've had a little outfit change into some lighter coats now it's warmed up. Ta -da. And we're going to watch it. We're watching it from a different point. So. Oh, it's starting, it's starting. We're excited, aren't we? about this park is all the flower beds just so lovely really like I know it sounds such a small thing but it really adds to the kind of magical fantasy lovely vibe so it's a little bit later we're just walking past discovery land there I just realized I haven't been in there at all I'm excited to go in there tomorrow we're gonna head over now to Hollywood parks we've got a reservation for the Ratatouille restaurant which I'm really looking forward to so we're gonna pigeon just in my face we're gonna do that and then hopefully do the ride. But I have to say, half a day in, I'm so impressed by Disneyland Paris. I feel like 
it's really improved since the last time I came. Um, they've like really up to the standard on a small level, like everywhere's like well maintained, but also on a big level with like the castle display last night in the other vlog and um, the parade as well. Anyway, next time I see you, we'll hopefully be going into the Ratatouille restaurant. Here we are in the Ratatouille portion of Hollywood Studios. That's the ride just there. And then that is the restaurant where we're gonna go in a moment. So this is Bistro Chez Remy, where you are shrunk down to the size of a rat, like Ratatouille, and you go and eat in their restaurant. So you know you've shrunk because the tiles suddenly are massive. <gasps> wow! This place looks so cool. Look at the booths made out of plates. And then we're lit by like fairy lights. Do you want to take a picture of this? Yes, I do. You know me, I like the menus. If you're a menu person, pause now. So I'm starting with pumpkin and chestnut soup. You're starting with mixed, mixed greens. greens. And you guys have the chicken roulette. No, roulette. 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 Is it roulette or roulette? Basically, it's like, looks like tuna, but it's chicken on toast with a little gherkin, which I don't think you're going to eat, which is great for me, because I will. Cheers to you. Good. Nice. That is nice. It's um a little bit cool, like, a little bit like, well, cool by the temperature. <laughs> I don't need to over describe that, do I? But otherwise, tasty. Okay, so I have the chicken, potatoes, and ratatouille. Pearly has cod, potatoes, and ratatouille. Darcy's gone for the pasta and ratatouille. ratatouille. And then you have gone for steak, chips, and ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> wow, chocolate. Ratatouille's with a little doodle. Look. How cute is that, Pearly? Do you love it? Is that satisfying? It's like creme brulee taps. Yeah, well done. Liam ordered a cappuccino and know what it came with. How cute is that? Our meal was lovely and now we're gonna go on to the Ratatouille ride because it's only a 20 minute wait. It's nice, thank you. I'll just sort your sister out, not Liam and I. I'll just sort your sister out, not Liam. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. This is Charlotte who watches the vlog. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. So this is an attraction where basically you go in these like moving mice. Oh, Look, there's the restaurant where we just were. It's um, on the other side. It looks like a dark mirror, but you can see it through this way. Did you like that, Pearly? Was it good? <laughs> and now we go from being mice to human again. And that's us leaving Hollywood Studios for the day. It's about five o'clock-ish, I think, because we didn't have our reservation at Cherami until three-ish. Um, so, we're going to walk back to the hotel now. I'd quite like to have a little look in the shops as we go. Oh, I forgot to say the Ratatouille ride. Wonderful. I love that ride. It's so smooth, so fun, just like good vibes. I like that a lot. Obviously quite hard to vlog them with it being 3D. Um, and when I was like telling you at the beginning, I got a bit flustered because I thought the man was telling me off for filming, but he wasn't. He was saying something else, but I was like, oh, I've got to put my camera down. <laughs> um, yeah. So, we're going to have a look at the shops and then go back to the hotel and we're going to have a really early night because the girls had a super late night and a super early morning and they needed a good sleep. So we just came to this little food cart and we ordered some churros and Nutella to take back to the hotel. So Pearl loves coins and treasure and gems and things so I thought we could get her one of these special Disneyland Paris ones. Yeah. Wow! 
That's Thank yours, you that's your actually, special coin. It actually is that size. You want to you test it out? Yeah. It's even bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> I could take that to school. Yeah, you could. And I could put it in my treasure box. In your treasure box, yeah. We've walked past this Disney store a few times now and I keep saying I want to go in because look, it's like the vintage. When I think of Mickey and Minnie from my childhood, that's the sort that they were. Does that bring back memories for anybody else? Let's go inside. Well, this is a fun one. Look, it's like, am I going crazy or is that vintage? Is that like early 1990s style Mickey Mouse in there? Obviously it's in a spaceship, but yeah, look, an old daisy. I love it. Back home to our resort with our churros goodies. Churros and Nutella in your gym jams. That's what Disney's all about, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is unflattering lighting and my makeup's all gone a bit. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock, the girls are fast asleep. We spent some time in the room, Liam went for a swim. Um, I have just gone through and done all of my stories for the day on Instagram so many stories today uh they're all in a highlight bubble called dlp on my instagram if you're interested um but what time is it is it 10 o'clock yet five to ten i think that there's a chance liam and i might be able to see the um hollywood studios drone show from our bedroom i don't know we're on the seventh floor of sequoia lodge and we can see the top half of the tower of terror and from watching other people's vlogs it seems to be that's where they do the show so yeah maybe we'll be able to see it if we if we do see it i'll vlog a bit out the window um but yeah it's been such a great day today i've been so like pleasantly surprised by so many things i have to say i did come on this trip with like very low expectations because when we came to disneyland paris in 2017 i was quite disappointed by a lot of things in it um i think my first mistake was thinking it was going to be like Disney World in Orlando. And I've come on this trip think, knowing that you can't compare them. They are, even though you do, I do find myself being like, oh, that was better than this, or that wasn't as good as this. They are like really different parks, which is weird because there's a lot of similarities. But if you've been to both, I think you'll know what I mean. Like you just have to have them as their own separate entities, even though there are similarities. Um, but yeah, even on little things, I think I mentioned it earlier, but like when we last came, I noticed a lot of like the railings and stuff were looking like really chipped, like they needed maintenance. And now everything is like very well maintained. Like really, you can really immerse yourself in that Disney bubble. It's lovely. Um, I love all the 30th celebrations. There seems to be also like more places to get snacks and they have more like Disney themed snacks as well, which I love. Um, the parade was incredible. Um, I enjoyed the Ratatouille ride, although that is, would you say that's the same, the Ratatouille ride, the same as the Orlando one? Yeah. I think it's the same, except it's better because there's less of a queue because it's not a new attraction here. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed today. I'm hopeful that tomorrow is sunshiny, although the weather says grey, but who knows, a bit of sun might creep through. Uh, but yeah, I will leave it here unless we can see the fire, uh, the drone show. I'll leave it here for tonight. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon for the next instalment. Thanks for watching. Bye. We can, whoa, we can definitely see something going on. <gasps> look, look, look. Oh, wow. What a view this is. Okay, Sequoia Lodge, room 7237. That's what we're in. <gasps> if you want to see the um, Hollywood Studios display. Although you can't hear any of the music, but you can still enjoy a bit of it.